What's up guys, it's Crash and Battlefield did exactly what we were hoping for over on this channel. I know if you guys have watched my last several videos, I said show us some map snippets, some flyovers and things in the lead up to the game and that's exactly what they did today. So I wanna commend the marketing team on that. This is, this is perfect. This is perfect to get that hype level up right up until launch and get us excited because honestly, one of the cool things about the beta is that being only one map, like it kind of stunk for the beta, like it was light on content, but at the same time, it leaves us a lot to look forward to at launch. There's still a lot to explore in this game, and that is pretty exciting. And honestly, I watched it through once, and these maps look awesome. I feel like the lighting could be improved still, and they may. There's a hundred percent possibility that they could be working on that, so that's really good. Um, yeah, they look great. So I figured the easiest way is just to go through these with you guys live. Just a couple super quick announcements, guys. Um, Tonight, I'm going to be doing an interview live with Geeksa. He's a Tarkov creator, and then we're gonna be getting that video up, hopefully, if all goes well, Friday morning. And then Friday night, I would love to have you guys stop by uh, the Objective of Battlefield podcast over on twitch.tv uh, backslash dubfire33. He's the host of the podcast. I'm gonna be a guest on there. It's gonna be broadcast live Friday night around 9 p.m. Eastern. I would love it if you guys could pop in. Um, it'd be a lot of fun. We're just gonna discuss all things about the specialists, about the maps, hazard zone everything it's going to be a ton of fun and then they will be posted um on all the podcast platforms spotify itunes all that stuff so sorry for the long intro i don't like to do that but anyway guys let's get right into it and take a look at this we'll see if i can get my keyboard shortcuts to work on my tiny tiny keyboard so we got to look at let's see it was renewal uh breakaway and discarded i believe and the lighting on discarded looks crazy and this is one renewal was one of the maps i was most excited about Irish putting down and this is a good shot of the dm7 looking like a three to four shot to kill a little slow but i feel like you could click that faster um this map looks really cool i love the diversity of this map it looks really good to me ak24 oh no that's a different gun we didn't have pkb vp that's a different one possibly it looks like oh that's definitely different that looks like an lmg dozer with the shield a couple headshots mixed in there nice yeah fighting being able to fight inside and outside these buildings honestly this was the map where i thought the lighting was like maybe not quite done because every there's just not a lot of shadows or contrast and with whatever storm rolls through that might that might change so it could be a sandstorm it could be a tornado not sure and then breakaway this is the massive map and i get i get insane hazard zone vibes from this one like like crazy and guys before we go too much farther please let me know what you think of these maps in the comments i read all the comments and i love that that's the main reason i make these videos is to hear from you guys uh, your opinion is more important than mine so let's look at this stuff oh uh, dm7 again I'm loving it look at some of the customization on there uh that's more stuff than we had i feel like in the beta that's a definitely a new site wingsuit dude yes look at the size of this map though for real crazy 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 hopefully that's a good thing hopefully there's plenty of vehicles to get around and plenty of points to fight honestly on some of these big maps i feel like breakthrough is going to be funner to play uh to keep the fighting kind in one spot keep on the lookout for penguins little zipline gameplay looking fun this map's going to be this map's going to be so fun on uh on hazard zone and then this is the map that is blowing my mind because when we first saw it we just saw the container so i thought it was just shipping containers stuck in the sand that's it but this map is so much more diverse with the tree green area and i just love the contrast in these maps the lighting on this one looks really good in my opinion very immersive looks i just i, I love like the sunset look to this map it, it just looks awesome that's the auto shoddy it looks like a saiga There might be, if you guys see any kind of little Easter eggs or stuff we haven't seen before, I'd love to hear hear that from hear from you on that in the comments as well. But yeah, this map, just the scale of this map, like, ah, oh, these maps are cool. They're definitely a high point for this game for me. Uh, love or hate the specialist, I feel like the, the maps are going to be very exciting to explore. So yeah, there it is, guys. Um, that's pretty much all I had. We'll switch to the chat screen. 
Thank you so much for checking this out with me. Basically, my overall opinion is I can't wait to get in on some of these maps and explore them. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, but this is the perfect move from DICE, I feel like, to give us some uh, some snippets of these maps and things like that, because honestly, they still have a lot, to, a lot yet to be revealed that still leaves, I believe, three maps that we haven't seen. So maybe next week we'll get another trailer showing some of those maps off, and, and I can't wait. I think that's the perfect way to keep the hype building for this game, because they honestly look really good i think using a game mode like breakthrough or even rush can get the fighting concentrated on these maps so we can really see how they play so very excited for it thank you guys so much for watching be a friend tell a friend and we'll see you on the next one